Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, the Mac Selena collection came out this October and man was that crazy. Since the day they announced it, it was, I knew it was going to be crazy, like I knew it was going to be nuts, but oh my god, this was nuts. And I luckily, through some hard work, sleepless nights, <laughs> I was able to get my hands on some products and today I wanted to do just like a traditional Selena Quintanilla makeup tutorial. I know there's a couple of those out there but I wanted to do my own too. I wanted to use these products on camera for you guys. This is definitely like an easy everyday look um, but that was what was I feel like great about her looks. There's definitely like just simple looks that you can do that she would do on stage if she would do off stage. I love the lipsticks. I love the colors that they chose of the lipsticks. This bright red. They have a deeper brick red which is on everybody list was oh my god that was hard to get dreaming of you did you try to get dreaming of you that was so hard to get my hands on oh my, but I got it I got it twice when I added in my car it got canceled they got taken out of my car I was like oh god no I need a dreaming of you I got it I got all three lipsticks I picked up their Tecnocumbia uh, powder two eyeshadows and a, a brush so today's simple tutorial but I really wanted to kind of just talk about this makeup line because just in general everybody's like oh my god what are you guys going crazy over it's just makeup but honestly for this launch like I never go that nuts for okay I go nuts for makeup products but this was like something else this is not just makeup to me this is like so much more this is like beyond the makeup so for those of you who don't know there's some really big contributing factors that really made this launch that made this dream happen so there's a makeup artist Jose Figueroa Jose Figs on Instagram and I'll link his um, link down below so you can check out his page but something that really went viral was his depiction of a Mac Selena line. There is a picture, you know, with the lipstick and then kind of like a mock-up of what a Max Selena line would look like. And I feel like everybody, that just caused everybody to really go gangbusters. And with that, that was great. That was like viral. It's like, let's do this. Then there's a woman called Patty Rodriguez and she was like oh my god let's start a petition so she went ahead and started a petition to start the Max Selena line and we got thousands of signatures a bunch of people signed up it went around and it was sent to Mac and Max like cool great idea nice suggestion okay no 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 now let's get a couple 10 20 30 40,000 more signatures and let's get louder and let's all come together and let them know that this is something that we the Latino community and not only the Latino community selena reached fans beyond the latino community you know and there were just so many people who signed this that eventually max like let's talk to the family <laughs> mac went ahead and talked to the family the family gave it their blessing and then the announcement of the launch was happening and honestly i feel like this is more than just makeup because how many launches do you know that people had to come together that people had to you know make a petition for it to have this and this is big for the latino community this is big because this she is an icon she is a role model she was like one of the first women you know that I saw with like dark hair brown eyes who you know I was able and many other young women older women idolized this just shows how much we can do as a community and how powerful our voice is and I feel like Patty Rodriguez just kind of like talked about like you know what like dream bigger when you want something and you kind of keep telling yourself like no I can't do it I can't do it instead of telling yourself I can't do it or it's probably not gonna happen tell yourself why not you know why not I can do this why can't I do it? What's the problem? What do I need to do? And put a plan to action, try, and you get denied and denied and denied and just keep on trying. But honestly, I feel like this is just amazing that this happened and I feel like from here on, this is just like when you feel like there's something you want and you feel like maybe you can't have it, it just pushes you to try harder and you might just end up getting it so I am just amazed by this collection I am so happy and honestly I do love the products that I picked up of course I had to get the lipsticks <laughs> I love the face powders I do love Mac as a company and I loved Selena so I was so glad that finally like I don't honestly for me I thought like this would be great but would it ever happen and look where it is now so I just wanted to do just a quick tutorial for you guys you can check out I actually did the DIY the boosty a the red and the white with the sequence I will link that down below in the description bar I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys got the collection link down below let me know what your situation was like because it was this is really really crazy I honestly feel like Mac was not prepared 
I feel like there are, you know, like I've seen other MAC collections, like, you know, celebrity ones are probably like, yeah, yeah, another celebrity, we've done it. You know, okay, the site goes a little bit slow, but eventually everybody gets through. And I've always, you know, a little bit slow. I have done a limited edition makeup launches, and I've been up maybe like five hours, but I've got it, what I wanted, when I need it. For this, I was like, oh my god, am I going to get anything? Like, oh god, I I'll take an eyeliner, or I don't even know if I'm going to get anything. Like, this was intense. Somebody messaged me, and they're like, you know, I really don't want to get into the madness, but I want to get some Max Lena. Do you think that's possible? I was like, girl you need to get into the madness in order to get anything and I was just up there's some girls who are like I've been up three nights and I haven't gotten anything I was like oh my god you just had to be on it luckily Mac was like ooh we need way more products so they are going to do another launch in January hopefully they are prepared this time so triple the amount of products that you had and maybe that'll just about cover it um, so if you guys miss it this time there's definitely you know the second launch that you guys can get um, I don't know if you guys saw the line for that Corpus Christi launch party the first day that was like some people were in line for seven hours I feel like that was the indicator to Mac like oh crap we don't have enough products so so hopefully in January they definitely come back and it's a lot easier for everybody and if I need to get some backups because honestly I bought some of the products and I was like oh, I should have gotten doubles of like everything one to keep you know in a little collection maybe a little shadow box and then one to actually use that's how intense and that's how much I love these products and I will cherish them so if you guys have any crazy stories during your experience your buying experience please link them down below I would try to add at the end of this video, I definitely recorded, I went a little crazy with the Snapchat because I was up for hours and days trying to get products, so just sharing a little bit of my experience with you guys. But if you guys want to see this tutorial really quick, really easy, then just keep on watching. So I've already primed my face using NYX's Angel Veil Primer and the foundation I'm going to use today is going to be the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1 foundation and I like this one because the coverage is really great so it's going to help with any blemishes I have and also it's not like too luminous or too dewy because Selena usually had like more of like a nice matte satiny finish. For my concealer, for my concealer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade 10 and we're actually going to mix a little bit of shade 15 which is a little bit lighter because she definitely had under the eye highlight which is, was a lot lighter. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in and blend that out with a beauty blender. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to take my NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. So for my brows, I'm actually going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to take the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and normally I use the shade Ash Brown, but today I'm going to go a shade darker brunette because she always had like her eyebrows like dark like it's probably as dark as her hair so I could use brunette I also have espresso but for my skin tone I'll stick to a brunette and we're gonna try to shape them a little bit differently so they're gonna be a little maybe more caterpillar-esque <laughs> we'll try to see if I can um, do that and not want to you know go my other way because definitely yeah brows were on the thin side back in back in the day um, so thick brows are more in and I wasn't about to thread my brows. It's a little bit different, a little bit darker than I normally do my brows, not trying to feather out and look super duper natural. I feel like they're a little bit way more filled in and darker. And so now I've already primed my eyes in preparation for the eyeshadows, which is going to be the easiest look ever. <laughs> and I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which is great as a concealer as well as a um, eyeshadow base. So the first shadow I'm going to take is No Me Queda Mas and I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and I'm just going to put that right into my crease. Then just to further define, I'm going to take that same eyeshadow, No Me Queda Mas, and a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to place this directly into my crease. So this is going to give us just a little bit more pigment, a little bit more preciseness, whereas that Sonia Kashuk brush, that kind of um, just diffused the color even more. So this is great for blending into the crease, but 
you just get a little bit more definition because we're just adding shadow there. And then don't forget to take your fluffy brush and just blend that out just so we don't have harsh lines. We want that definition and the crease, that contour into the eye, but we, you know, don't want a harsh line. Then if you want to go in, and then she had a little bit like pinky peach on the eye. So I'm actually going to go in and take, this is the Tecnocumbia powder blush slash bronzer. Just get a little bit of that same thing on the M433 brush by Morphe and then just kind of run that into the crease. You can even do this with like a peach blush as well. For the lid, I'm gonna take the shade Missing My Baby, which is a really nice, just a neutral shade, and just pack that onto the lid and then a little bit underneath the brow bone. Then I'm just gonna go back in with that M433 and blend it out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to do a wing because no Selena look would be complete without a wing. So I went ahead and added Ardell Wispy Lashes. Nothing too crazy, just, you know, get that lash on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes in black and add this to my lower lash line. Then to set my face, I'm going to take some of my Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. Then I'm going to take the Tecno Cumbia Blush and Face Powder Duo. And I'm actually going to go ahead and try out the little brush that came in the set. And I'm not trying to do like intense contouring or anything, just trying to bring some life and definition back to the face. And go light handed with this, uh, if you are lighter. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the blush in the powder duo. Just add a little bit on my cheeks. So we're not going to add any highlight, any shimmer face highlight, because Selena's probably like, what the fuck's highlight? So instead, we're just going to finish it off with the lips, and we're going to take the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Plush Red to line our lips in preparation for the red lipstick. Then today I'm going to go with the brighter red of the lipsticks and I'm going to take Como La Flor and add that on top of the lip liner. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to use it. Hold on. So that is a completed look. I went ahead and added the Boosty A that I made in case you wanted to do the complete look. This is the red and white sparkly one that she wears with that like crazy bun, which you kind of can't see. It's kind of cut off here. Um, but if you guys want to see that DIY tutorial that I did for you guys, I'll link that down below. It's really easy, a little time consuming, but in the end, it's just a great result. Like I didn't think I'd love it as much as I do. So if I ever want to wear out Selena look, go all out. Like they have like parties or anything. I'm 
thinking Selena themed birthday party where everybody has to dress up as a Selena that would be great um just a couple ideas but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is like the most easiest thing I just wanted to go ahead and use some of the products on camera I'll definitely try to go ahead and use some like say the purples and mix that in with some other looks so you're like okay I bought these products now what but just something super easy every day that you can do um maybe do your more modern brows or if you like these brows go ahead and do those make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and i'll see you guys next time Hijo de puta. 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 Hijo de puta.